What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman for Awesomeo.com, and I am back with my NBA DFS contenders on Yahoo for Friday, March 11th. Now, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comment section who your favorite plays are for today's slate. And then shout out to Yahoo for sponsoring this video. The link is in the description. Go to awesomeo.com slash yahoo dash promo. Get one free month of Awesomeo Plus Platinum. Get a bit of a deposit bonus as well. Plenty of tools on Awesomeo that can help you out in your Yahoo endeavors. Now we're rounding out the bottom of my top 10 with Luka Doncic, Gary Trent, Reggie Jackson, Robert Williams, and PJ Washington on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today? It's time to find out. In first at number five, we've got Russell Westbrook. He's point guard eligible, $29, projected for 39. The goal is 53, and he's in the optimal lineup 15% of the time. He had a pretty good per minute showing this last time out, 1.25 fantasy points per minute. That's higher than I have him here. 33 minutes for Russ, 1.2 fantasy points per minute. It is a pace down spot for the Lakers against the Wizards. Revenge narrative? I don't know. 19 points, nine boards, and six assists for Russ, plus a steal. Look, he's a little bit underpriced as far as I'm concerned. When no Anthony Davis there, he's a better per minute guy than people are giving him credit for. You can't judge him against what he's supposed to be. You can only judge him against his current price. And for right now, he looks pretty good. At number four, we have the value play du jour. That's Devontae Graham, point guard eligible, $11, projected for 32. The goal is 36, and he is in the optimal lineup 17% of the time. No CJ McCollum, no Brandon Ingram means Brand that means Devontae Graham is stepping into starter minutes again. 32 minutes, a fantasy point per minute. He gets a big time usage bump when those guys aren't around. So 17 points, six and a half assists, and three rebounds plus a steal. It's a pace up spot against Charlotte. The Hornets defense isn't very good. And for the second straight point guard in the top five, revenge narrative alert. Ultimately, Devontae Graham is priced like he's coming off the bench and he's going to start today. Uh, there are no value plays that will be easier than Devontae Graham. In at number three, we're looking at Alec Burks. He's point guard eligible, $20. Projected for 32. The goal is 44. He's in the optimal lineup 17% of the time. That's 36 minutes for Burks. No Cam Reddish any longer. Uh, just another body that won't be there. They're still missing a couple of their guards. No Grimes, no Rose. Uh, he's a .9 fantasy point per minute guy that plays a lot of minutes. 17% usage, 15 points, six and a half boards, and four assists, plus a stock and a half. Does get the benefit of a giant pace up spot against Memphis. They are nine and a half point dogs. So if this one stays competitive, Burks is going to play 36 more minutes or potentially a little bit more. There's a little bit of value to squeeze out of a $20 price tag. In at number two, we've got my preferred payup option. That is Luka Doncic. He's $56, but he's projected for 62, and the goal is 79, but he's in the optimal lineup 18% of the time. I gave him 37 minutes, 1.67 fantasy points per minute. 40% um, usage is the baseline for Luka right now when Tim Hardaway isn't around and Porzingis isn't around. 35 points, 12 rebounds, 8 assists, and almost 2 stocks in a massive pace up spot against the worst defense in basketball. Lucas should hang it on Houston. What you really need is a mildly competitive game so that he can get every minute that he normally gets. I'm hoping that that happens, but even if it doesn't, we're talking about a guy that can pretty easily put up two fantasy points per minute. You're gonna need every bit of that. I think he looks fantastic. I think he carves up Houston. If I'm paying up anywhere, it's to Luca. Now, before we get to that number one contender, one last reminder to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comments who your favorite plays are. And then go sign up at Yahoo, awesomeo.com slash yahoo dash promo, or click the link in the description. One free month of Awesomeo Plus Platinum. Your number one contender comes in at center. That is Jonas Valanciunas. He's $29, projected for 45. The goal is 53. He's in the optimal lineup 19% of the time. I gave him 33 minutes, 1.36 fantasy points per minute because there's no CJ. There's no Brandon Ingram. Joe Val's not priced like that's the case. So 26% usage for Joe Val. He's going to clean up scoring 21 points on the boards, 14 rebounds, three assists and a stock and a half and a pace up spot against Charlotte. This looks fantastic for Joe Val. Whether it's Mason Plumley, Montrez Harrell, or PJ Washington, none of those guys are going to slow him down today. Jonas Valanciunas is your number one contender.
Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on Yahoo for Friday, March 11th. FanDuel and DraftKings versions of this video are around here somewhere. Make sure you're checking it out. Good luck tonight, everybody. Win the money. We are back again Sunday morning for another edition of The Contenders.